Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel. Today I'm going to show you how to get Internet Explorer back in Windows 10 and 11. It's a very simple process, you just need to follow my steps very carefully. First, you have to come over into your search option, and here you just need to search for inetcpl.cpl. And then here you just need to click on open. And after your internet properties will be open over here. And from here, you just need to click on programs over here and then click on manage add ones. Click on that. And as you can see, into this toolbar and extensions, IETO HPHO, this functionality is enabled. So basically, when uh, you try to open Internet Explorer in your computer, it will appear with the Edge browser. So we need to make it disabled by these systems. You can simply individually open internet explorer and you can back the internet explorer for your computer so before that we just need to close everything and come over into the search option and going to search for reach edit and then you just need to open the registry editor over here click yes for the permission and from here you just need to go for hq local machine click on it two times and then you just need to look for software over here click on that and then you just need to search for Microsoft over here. So Microsoft is over here. Click on it two times. And then you just need to look for Windows over here. So scroll down. And after you find the Windows, click on it two times. And then you just need to look for current version. And then here is the current version over here. And from here, you just need to go for policies over here. So go for policies. And here is the policy, so click on it or open it or click on it two times. And from here, you just need to look for ext over here. You can see here is the ext file. And then from here, you just need to open the clsid folder over here. So as you can see, we come over into the clsid folder over here. And you can find this uh and you can find this extension over here called 1FD49718. So you just need to click on it two times to change the string value. And we will going to give the value data zero. And then we're going to click on OK. And now we will going for same as to the search option and going to search for inet cpl dot cpl. I'm going to open the internet properties, go for the programs file, click on manage add-ons. And as you can see, now the IETH BHO is now disabled. So now if we are going to open the file explorer right now, then it will individually open internet explorer. So before get it back, we just need to go for our file explorer over here. Then we do need to go for local disk C drive. Then we need to look for program files x86 and then here we will find the internet explorer folder over here so if you click on it two times then we'll find the i explorer over here so before getting it open we will going to click on the right mouse button and go for show more options and then click on send to and create and click on create desktop shortcut click on that and if we now come over into our desktop before we will going to rename it as explorer internet explorer and then going to click on enter and now if you try to open it click on that and as you can see right now the internet explorer is open in our computer and as so if you facing that uh, your internet explorer is open by microsoft edge so for that you just need to restart your pc and that will fix your problem so if your internet explorer not working then you can simply uh, go for your notepad and as you can see there is a create object or this command over here so what we're going to do we're going to create on the right mouse button then click on new and click on text document over here and we will going to click on it to open it and from here we will going to copy this command 
as you can see copy this comment and going to paste it over here like this after we're going to click on the file click on save as and going to name it as internet explorer dot vbs so going to name it internet explorer dot vbs you need to make sure you wrote the right extension over here called dot vbs I'm going to click on text documents and click on all file over here and then click save. After that, as you can see into this desktop, we will get this kind of, basically it's not a shortcut, it's a file explorer option. So what we're going to do, we're going to click on the right mouse button and going to click on show more options, click on send to and click on desktop create shortcut icon. As you can see, the file explorer low uh, icon is not showing so for that we're going to click on the right mouse button click on show more options go for the properties go for change icon and if you just move a little bit you'll find the file explorer i can click ok and as you can see right now we will get the file explorer over here so if you click on that as you can see that your file explorer is now opened in your computer and if you now search for anything like www dot google dot com, click on that. As, as you can see right now, your file explorer is running your computer with these very simple steps. So thank you so much for watching this video. I hope to see you for another videos. Till then, goodbye.